Good morning, preschoolers. I hope you're having a good day. It's time for some work with our story about the little red hen. But before we start, I thought I'd sing a song with you that I'm sure you'll all remember. Sing with me if you do. And guess what? I made some little puppets of our story too. So I'll show you then what we sing. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear bees and the flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beasts and the birds and the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, little red hen. Today, the little red hen wants us to make sure we think about all the new words we learned in our story. So I made a little worksheet for us to help us all work together to learn some words. And the first five words are words that maybe we haven't heard before. And we'll talk about what their meaning is. What do those words mean? And the second five words I've written down are words that you can practice writing. And you know when you write a word, you're also learning to read. So let's go over the words. The first word is thresh. Do you remember hearing the word thresh in our story? By the end of the summer, the wheat stood tall and golden. It was ready to be cut and threshed. Do you remember what threshing was? The little red hen took the grains of wheat, or the plants of wheat rather, and then she shook the plants and out came the little seeds, which is the grains. So she threshed the wheat by separating the grain from the plant. Now, nobody was willing to help her take that wheelbarrow full of grain to town, were they? And the cow said he was too busy because he was chewing his cud. Do you remember hearing that word cud? Has anybody heard that word before? Do you know what it means? Cud. It means chewing food for the second time, which cows love to do because they love to chew and chew and chew. Now, the little red hen had to take the wheelbarrow full of grain. And where did she go, do you remember? To the mill. And what do we do in a mill? It's a place for grinding grain. And how do they grind the grain? Well, in this picture, it shows us two very big round stones. And you put the grain in between the stones and you turn the stones and the stones grind the grain. So the stones are called millstones and their stones used for grinding grain into flour. And what does grind mean? We know it turns it into yummy flour, which we can make cookies and cakes and bread with. But what does grind mean? It means crushing it into powder. Wow, that's a lot of new words for us to think about and learn the meaning of. Now the next words are three letter words. And as you write them down, you can practice remembering what letters make up the word. And then you can practice saying the word. And then you're learning to write and read. So the first word is dog. D-O-G, dog. 
The second word is red. R-E-D. Red. Third word is hen. H-E-N. Hen. And then pig. P-I-G. Pig. And cow. C-O-W. Cow. Wow, look at all those words we can write and learn to read from one story. Thank you, little red hen, for teaching us so many wonderful things. I thought it was a fun story. I hope you had fun talking about it with your family. So many things to talk about about that story. And then we can say goodbye to my little cow and to the little piggy. Blink, blink and the cute little wool red, red hen. Blah, 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 blah. And the sweet little puppy dog. Kinda looks like Dora May. Where is that Dora May? Dora May, say hello to the children. Say happy reading and writing. See you soon. Woof, woof.